Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel of NitaCP. In this video, I am going to explain the solution of the problem Gamer Hemos that came in the Code Forces Round 746 Division 2. The problem starts with a storyline which you can safely ignore because uh, it will be of no use in the question. This is the thing. So, the main question states that uh, there is an agent in Valorant and he has N weapons. The ith weapon has a damage value of AI. That is, uh, there will be N weapons and each of them have, will have some damage value. And the agent will face an enemy whose health value it is. And uh, now, the agent will perform one or more moves until the enemy dies. That is, uh, he has to kill the enemy. That is the main aim here. In one move, he will choose the weapon and decrease the enemy's health value by its damage value. That is, uh, he has some weapons and he will choose one weapon from them and he will attack the enemy with that weapon and then af after that the health value will decrease by the damage value of the weapon that is a uh, let's say uh, the weapon has a damage value of 10 and the health value is 100 so after attacking the enemy with the weapon of damage value 10 the value will reduce by 10 that is from 100 it will come to 90 the enemy will die when his health become less than or equal to 0 that is from 100 you have to either make it come make it to zero or less than zero then he will die now there is a twist here the agent can't choose the same weapons two times in a row now that is the thing let's say you have chose the weapon with the value 10 now that in the next step you can't again choose the same value that is the same weapon you can't again choose the same weapon with the value 10 you have to choose some another you have to choose some another uh weapon for that now the question is what is the minimum number of times the agent will need to use the weapons to kill the enemy that is you have to minimize the number of times that the agent will need to use weapons that is you have to minimize the operations now the input format is like uh, as usual it starts with some test cases then in this test case there is the value of n and h uh, the n is the number of the weapons and h is the health value See here, h is uh, very large. It can go up to 10 to the power 9. And then the next panel will contain the value of the the damage value of the weapons. So uh, let's go to the example. Let's uh, uh, in the let's take the first example here. N equal to 2. Sorry. Here n equal to 2, and uh, health value is 4. And the weapon values are, uh, that is the damage values of 3 and 7. Now think, uh, if I start with this weapon, say uh, the health value is 4, if I start with this weapon, that is 3. So the value will come to 1 after attacking, because we have to just uh, subtract the value. And then I can choose 3 again, because that is the condition in the question. So for that, I will choose 7. 1 minus 7. It will give me minus 6. So uh, it is less than or equal to 0, right? So here I need two steps in this way, right? Now, if I go in the opposite way, that is, uh, if I chose 7 first, then what will be the result? Let's see. If I chose 7 first, let's say uh, 4 minus 7. I have chose 7 here. So it will directly give me minus 3 which is less than or equal to 0. So here in this step I need only one value. And it is a minimum. So uh, out of 2 and 1 it is a minimum time. That is, is a minimum number. So the answer will be 1. See. Now let us go to the last example here. Uh, the last, last example states that. Uh, wait. Here the uh, weapon value. Uh, sorry. Uh, the number of weapons is 3. And the health value is 11, and the weapon values are 2, 1, 7. So now the health value is 10, uh, 11. So which weapon should should I shall I take? If you think greedily, I'll sh I need to choose the weapon that is the maximum damage value that is 7. Because if I take some weapon with a small value. I have to use weapons more number of times. Suppose I have taken here 2. Then from 11 it will come to 9. Then I will choose 1. From 9 it will come to 8. Then I can choose 7. Then it will come to uh, 8 to 1. Then I will choose again 1. 
then it will come to uh, zero right so here it takes four steps so uh but if you think right if i take a small value then i need to use the weapon more number of times so of course i need since i have to minimize the number of weapons that is the number of times i have to choose weapon i will start with the greatest value what is the greatest value here the greatest value is seven so i will subtract seven from here it will give me four right now i can't choose four, seven again in the next time so next time i will choose two since from one and two two is the largest value so now the value becomes two and again uh, next time i can choose two now i have two options either i will choose one or i will choose seven so which one i will take i will of course take seven because uh that will give me a negative or zero in the third step only that is minus five which is less than or equal to zero so here i need only three steps that is i hope you got the approach that i always need to take the maximum possible value and how it evolves like uh how it goes like i'll in the first step i will take the maximum number that is seven from the area and in the next step i will take the second maximum number in the area that is two in the third step again since uh, i can take the maximum number it, it i can use it now so i'll take that again in the fourth step again i will take this again in the fifth step again i'll take like it will always go between these two the maximum value and the second most maximum value that is the thing so i hope the example part is clear now i will go to the solution part for the solution part uh, let me consider that i have four weapons the weapons are uh, in the form two seven one five these are the weapon values and the health value is let's say uh 24 right now as stated i'll go gradually i'll choose the maximum value possible so uh, i'll take 7 so from 24 if i subtract 7 it becomes 17 right in the next step i'll again go gradually from 1 5 and 2 i'll obviously take 5 because it is the second most maximum number in the area so 17 minus 5 it comes to 12 and again in the next step i can choose 7 because the only condition is that i can't choose the same weapon uh, twice in a row that is uh, i can't choose the same uh, weapon twice here uh, that is the thing see here the same weapon for two times in a row but i can choose a, a weapon as many times as i want in this thing so i will again take 7 here since it is the maximum value so it will come to 5 and then again i will take Five, right so it is zero that is uh, we have reached our goal so how many times does it take it takes four steps right so the answer is four now let's uh, just change the health value and rest all will remain same the weapons will stay as same two seven one five but the health value will become let's say 30 now what we'll do obviously we'll take seven 30 minus seven it is 23 then from 23 i will take 5 because it is the second largest value 18 then again i will take 7 it will come to 11 then again i will take 5 it will come to 6 now again uh, i will take what i will take 7 because it is the largest number so it gives me 1 so here it is 5 steps now there is one thing like if you go on continuing like this like uh, in the first step i'll reduce the health value by the maximum number in the next step i'll reduce the health value by the second most maximum number in the third step i will again reduce the health value by the by the maximum number that is seven if you go on continuing like this it will give me clearly that is it will exceed the time limit because the number of steps can be very large. let's say if the health value is 10 to the power 9 and suppose the maximum like the damage values are in the order let's say one 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 and two so the maximum value is two and the second most maximum value is one so if you think like if i keep on subtracting two and one two and one each time from 10 to the power nine it will take a lot of time that will exceed the time so i can do it like that so i have to optimize this that is i have to make it in a single step now how can i do that if you observe carefully right how many times are we using this like how can we directly think of like how many times do we need to use the weapons 
we can simply divide the value that is the health value by the summation of these two numbers right? if i directly divide the health value by the summation of these two numbers then i can get the value directly in one step right see here um let's say if i divide 24 by the summation that is a uh, 7 plus 5 it gives me 2 so what does this mean like i have to use both the weapons two times and here also see i have used seven two times i have used five two times right so i will just directly divide the number and then i will multiply it by two since because i have two weapons i am using each twice so two steps two that is two multiplied by two so four is done right in case of 30 so if i do the same thing 30 divided by 7 plus 5 so what is the value here now 30 divided by 12 i will only take the integer part i will only take the integer part so it will give me 2 i will neglect the uh, decimal part for now so how many times do i need to use the weapons 2 into 2 that is 4 now in the next step since uh, 30 is not completely divisible by 12 so i'll check for the remainder that is i'll check for the remainder 30 modulo 2 sorry modulo 12 it will give me 6 so 6 is the remainder. that is see here 6 was remaining in four steps i have did i have used this twice seven twice five twice so six was remaining and here also six is the remainder so in the next step i will again go by the uh, maximum value that is seven and i will subtract uh, like from six i will subtract this and i will see that i have reached a negative number or zero that is i have reached my goal so here the steps will be four plus one four plus one five right that is how can i can go now let's say if the health value is something else let's say if the health value is 35 and the weapons are same two seven one five and the health value is 35 so i'll go with the now the optimal way i will not divide sorry i will not subtract like previous times i will directly divide it 35 by these are the two maximum values 7 plus 5 that is 35 by 12 that is uh it gives me 2 i'll neglect the decimal part so uh, how many times do i need to use the weapons for now 2 into 2 4 times right so i can either uh directly take the remainder here 35 divided by so 35 modulo 12 that gives me 11 or i can do another thing just i can subtract it like this uh since i have used both the weapons twice so i will subtract it like this so it also gives me 10. you can choose any of the method to find this value so for 11 what will be my next step i'll choose the maximum number again i'll choose this number again because uh since i have uh taken both the weapons twice so i have taken in the last step of course i have taken five since uh this Two. How will means how will this go like seven five ones? This is for first time again seven five. This is for two times. See at two. So I have ended with five. So in the next step I can go with seven. So from eleven I will subtract seven. And my steps become four plus one five. So I need for now five steps. So here this is again greater than zero. This is again greater than zero. So I will again subtract five from it because the next largest number is five it is minus one which is less than or equal to zero so my next step, total number of steps is six now it will not go beyond this it will, it will not go beyond this because let's say uh if instead it was uh instead of four it was something else like it was six here instead of 11 it was 13 right so for that the health will to also change let's say 37 then if i divide it by 12 at that time already i will i will have covered this part right it will give me three so you can be sure that it will in the in this step in by this step it will either be less equal to zero or less than zero it will not be greater than that had it been greater than that then i will have received that value while div dividing it so that is the whole thing here i hope you have understood the approach now let's go to the coding part see here uh, i have taken the test cases as usual uh, 
then uh, i have taken the input that is the n is the number of uh, weapons and h is the uh, health value then i have taken the damage values in an array and i have sorted this in descending order here greater ll means i have sorted this in descending order because i have to find the greatest largest two numbers among them so i have stored the largest two numbers in a variable well see because see here uh, i was adding those two right here i was adding those two so i have done the same thing here i have stored the summation in a value in a variable well then i have divided h by well that will give me the current count here i have divided h by well that will give me the current count and my answer will be twice the count as explained so now uh, you can for this step you can uh, sorry for this step you can either take the modulo here i have subtracted this you can do it any method like you can or you have you could have done it like that uh, h equal to h modulo well like that you could have done like that i have subtracted it both will give me the same result now as i explained if it is greater than zero then i will increase my answer by one and i will subtract the largest number see here i have subtracted the largest number and in next step again if it's still greater than zero if it's still greater than zero then again i will add increment my answer by one and i'll subtract this and then finally i have written the answer that is i printed the answer and see uh, this is an accepted solution so it is totally correct i hope uh, you could understand the problem if you have any doubt you can uh, post it in the comment section we'll try to resolve that doubt as soon as possible thank you